Hello guys, in today's video I want to talk about the risk. No matter if it's my business journey or my personal life or my family background, risk has always plays a very important role. Yeah, my dad has played a very big impact uh, in my childhood. Like, he's very successful and also running a successful business and uh, um, also very tough. Even in recent years because he's not good at risk management and he experiences a big failures in later of his business journey. It's very high risk tolerance and he's, uh, whenever he's doing something, he's like always all in. And um, and then bad thing happens. He lost all his money in one of the business decisions that he's made. So that's my my family's end. And for my end, um, I used to think if I'm not taking high risk, then I will show. So I will be weak. It's like it's like weak, and it's like uh, you're not tough enough, and you're you're like covered uh, in my father's eyes. So I use my dad as a value system. Like if I don't take as much risk I have, then um, I'm not good enough. And also I'm, I'm so weak. So that's in the beginning of my business journey. Because of my dad, sometimes I take a lot of risk and I don't want to take much risk because my dad does everything. And um, especially losing all his fortunes after um, years, a decades of hard working in his business. So I'm, sometimes I'm very conservative, but like I mentioned, because how my dad values, I always like in my, in my subconscious. So if I want to get recognitions or acceptance from the old men then I have to work in hard and also I have to take risk. I have to go like super fast. Sometimes I'm lost. I just don't know what to do. It's like if we want to be successful like there's one time I really want to be successful. I don't I don't know if I should take risk or not because of my dad. Then he's like he used to be my model. He's like really successful but now he lost everything. And this one time I even told myself okay that's good because at least he he has a lot of experiences and he experiences high and also he experiences low and that's better than than people who only uh, experience those because they don't want to take any risk and they don't want to get out of comfort zones. But then I realized how my dad knows everything and also um, they have a difficult time and also he lives very frugal and he changed his whole lifestyles. And then uh, and also how irresponsibility is for him because he couldn't um, do the minimal to support uh, his families and also he make my mom and also make us disappointed. So I, I also don't want to uh, lose him the things that I work, working for in the past few years. So um, this one time that I realized there's a balance point. Should I go hard or should I go slow? If I don't take risk, I feel like life is boring. And it's the same, I feel like um, something's missing. So if I go too fast, then there's a message telling me that, oh, um, it, it kind of gives me a lot of stress because I'm afraid of losing. And also, yeah, I don't want to be my dad in, in some points. And um, I also values my families. I believe um, business or job, especially my ego, is not it shouldn't be the first thing and the so like self improvement is, is also important and also my wife and family is also important and um, and you have free time be with your the person you love you care and it's also it's important as well next year I want to talk about risk because there's one book that I read recently it's called Anti-Fragile um, written by Nassim Nicholas Tanup so I will uh, post the book and um, the author's name in the descriptions so uh, this guy have learned a lot from this book. So the author insists that no matter how much you try to run away from unpredictable futures, um, it is, there's no way that you can do it. No matter if you're really good at math or, or statistics, it's, it's just impossible for humans to predict futures like 100%. So there's no way that you can 100% be safe from unpredictable futures or let's say potential, potential risk. So this is like my dad's stories. So we all say, oh, this is my dad's fault because um, he's, he has a very high tolerance for risk and also he's not uh, response, he has no responsibilities when he making decisions. But some things happen, that is so difficult for us to predict and also to foresee the features, especially even in countries that the government has a like fully control. So it's really about how government's decisions or like the government's priorities. If, if the government focuses on big and long-term projects and then it's um, avoidable to sacrifice for small portion of uh, people's or like populations. Uh, in this situation, it's my dad's fault and also it's uh, something like uh, it's so difficult to prevent it. And, but however, if we cannot 100% be safe from the futures or from um, certain risks, so what we can do? And then from these books and also the, the author mentioned that we should uh, be, we should do something or we should create something anti fragile So what exactly we can do to make us anti Fragiles. So the, the author suggests that we should take a lot of small risks. Taking small risks will make you 
more tough when big things come. And also will make you more nasty. And also uh, durable when big things happen. And it will make you uh, recovery very fast when big things happen. Uh, for example, like some like some jobs is even it looks like it's safe and also make people uh, feel like they have a secure job. Um, it actually has a lot of potential risk. For example, if you work in your financing job, you only have one employer. If they're suffering, they can lay you off very easily. And then it actually takes you much, much more time for you to recover or find a better jobs. In within a year, maybe two years, stay in that position or in that job, the longer it takes you to recover. So if you're 30, maybe 40, you got to lay off, you should be lucky because you're not, uh, you still uh, can find a job right, in the job market. But if you're 60 or 70, and you don't have enough in your savings account and you got to lay off, then that's a disaster because uh, it's really hard for you to go back and find a job, especially if, if you have that job uh, safe or security for 30 years. If you have a small business and your income is unstable, but actually it makes you, uh, but actually it's more anti-fragile than working in finance because you have many, many employers, which is your customers. And some, maybe you have up and downs, but that makes you more anti-fragile because that keep alerting you to learning and also to rebounce back. So all the small uh, waves will make you anti-fragile and also make you uncomfortable and also make you recover uh, whenever you experience the dumps. But like I said, you don't want to, you don't want to also go too fast, especially for, for business people and they will need to take risks like my dad. They take uncalculated risk. When they lost, basically they lost everything. So because he risk, yeah, because he always desires more and also want more and he put more bets. And then if he lose that game, he lose everything. So in that case, you, you also take forever for him to recover. The deal is sounds simple, but it's so difficult for, for business people, especially when you have money and when you taste some success. So you want to go full speed. And then that's when you made the mistakes about um, the tolerance, when you, the tolerance for high risk, especially for people who um, success on a young age. And that's uh, when, uh, like, yeah, like my dad, he experienced a lot of success in his young age and um, he did um, he did reach pretty quick. So that's how, the situation maximize his egos and, whole, and also his greed. I usually think for people who are successful, they must be like my dad. They, like all of them, has very high tolerance for risk. So basically the risk on a daily basis. And then they're stressful and they can, they're the person who is naturally can take high risk. But uh, in from these books and also from the people, especially for, for like Warren Buffett and some also successful entrepreneurs, they play conservative games. Especially if they, if they're not stressful and also if they um, like relax, they don't have problem with money, then they can be creative and they can focus on creating valuable things. Especially, uh, yeah, like Warren Buffett says, the best way to get rich is not losing money. So that's, uh, of course, that depends on situations. If you want to get off or get a start, you need to take risks. But if you have some, uh, take some success, then you want to slow down and then uh, build the foundations and also don't losing that much. So that's why uh, you take small risks. So even, so for example, if you want to invest in some sense, then put 10% of your money into that areas. And in that areas, you can be very creative and you can tolerate much, much more risk. So if it's not, then you lost 10%. But if it's um, working, then you can potentially gain much, much more in that in that deals. A lot of people, they risk all his money and also they might gain a little bit. So they put a huge risk in his business but they're not making as much compared to the risk he is putting into. The mistakes a lot of uh, business entrepreneurs made, including myself. Yeah, I think this business book gives me a lot of guidelines how to handle the risk. So, um, yeah, successful people, they don't always risk higher. Yeah, so that's um, something that I, I learned. And also, um, I should be more less emotional when i making big business decisions or when I make life decisions as well. Like, for example, like I talk about uh, worries in the last videos, so something like um, wor worry about what's the scenarios, even same as a as a taking risk. Yeah, like I created this YouTube videos. In the past, I was afraid of um, be embarrassing and also afraid of uh, judgments because how because uh, I believe because I think other people will criticize my English since my English is not my, my native language. But however, if I just take a little bit of risk on this one, the worst scenario is I so my risk is be embarrassing or being criticized by strangers. So that's my, my risk. So what I can do, so what I can do is, is this. But how much I can gain is huge compared to how much I can lose, especially the relationship I made and also uh, to overcome myself and yeah improve my communications and then potential business opportunities and also get myself yeah out there huge huge opportunities and uh, abundance. That's um, perfect examples of how to handle the risk. How much you can lose versus how much you can gain. So it's all about balance and also it's and that makes you anti-fragile and also don't just. 
focus on the results and don't just look at the success the failures is also very important and that's the author says how the failures can make you anti-fragile because you need those waves that also make you immune from big disasters and also make you recover fast from big or unpredictable uh, features thanks for watching i hope you can um, learn something like myself from these videos and uh, yeah i see you in the next one bye bye